Hey, it's Artifax of Mars. With a, another mad science update. Woman can't leave her house because of an allergy to Wi Fi and mobile phones. Um, I look at this and I go, um, right. Woman says she is permanently housebound because she's allergic to Wi Fi and phone signals. Kim the Tata, the Ada, can really see friends and family because EM waves from modern technology gave her give her migraines, fatigue, and even infections. Uh, it's getting a little deep, actually. A uh, former nurse has to wear a shielded bed net on the rare occasions when she leaves her home and can only visit places with poor mobile phone reception. That's going to be tough to do. She hopes that speaking out the, the debilitating condition has forced her to move home her home twice due to phone masks being built nearby and she now sleeps under a special net. She hopes that speaking out about speaking out about electrosensitivity will help people understand the unusual condition and be more sympathetic. I have not seen my fa friends and family for so long. I've had two other visitors for half a day each year. It's a heartbreaking reality. Uh, madam, I'm not a psychiatrist. But it sounds it sounds an awful lot like a condition called agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is basically where you're scared to leave home. Only place I can go is Kukern or Lyme Regis. As if I go anywhere else, I get serious symptoms. I am not seen closest aunt for 10 years, and she did, really did not understand why. We were so close before. Could not bear it anymore when she was 91 at the time. I had to wear my shielded bed over my head and you can imagine I get some funny looks on the bus. Yeah, I would think so. It was tough enough for me, but I'm pleased because it did I did it because she died next year and if I hadn't seen her I would have never forgiven myself. Kim said her problem started when she was sixteen and living in South London, and started to become ill when she was near TVs. Yet worse a few years later when she's working as staff nurse in intensive care, she bought a mobile phone so she could be t contacted in an emergency. She said, the first time I put the thing to my head, it was like a laser going through my brain. Every time I put it to my head, I got the pain. After that, I was thinking more and more I was getting more and more fatigued, and my immune system was getting knocked, meaning I'm, I was getting infections. She discovered more about electrosensitivity and realized the problems were being caused by waves emitted by mobile phones, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and electronic devices. All right, I'm going to break this down. Here's the problem with this. Uh, every day we see this big yellow ball come up, transit across the sky. A big, beautiful yellow ball, we call it the sun. And that sun bombards us constantly with radio waves, or at least while it's uh, up. If you are outside, or inside for that matter, and the sun's up, you're getting bombarded with radio waves powerful radio waves. You want proof? If you have an old uh, CRT television, maybe not Spartan TV, but old, older CRT, cathode ray tube ones, you look at the 
you turn to a channel that doesn't have any reception, you see the snow. That's radio signals from the sun and from space. We're bombarded constantly. And if this was a real condition, then I would expect these people wouldn't be able to live on this planet. Uh, this is why I'm rather skeptical of this, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, and he goes on to talk about her uh, research into this and all that. Mm, man, I'm afraid I don't believe it either, to be honest with you. Like I said, we're bombarded by radio waves constantly from space, and you can't get away from it. I would kind of suggest that you take a trip to the psychiatrist's office, because I'm just not thinking this is working for you. You might find out you have a condition called agoraphobia or something else. And the shows are standing outside <laughs> where radio waves uh, are bombarding her, her uh, little hat only covers her head. Uh, sorry, I gotta break ranks on this one. I think this is bullshit. I want to thank some Mars. Thanks for watching.